Liu Bei returns to Jingzhou. Tricked by Zhou Yu, Liu Bei married Sun Xiangxiang, Sun Quan's younger sister. After the wedding ceremony, Liu Bei stayed in the state of Wu. In light of Zhu Geliang's plan, Zhao Yin made a false report to Liu Bei before his departure, saying that Cao Cao was attacking Jingzhou. He urged Liu Bei to go back. Believing it was true, Liu Bei discussed the matter with his wife and decided that they would pretend to offer sacrifice to the ancestors at the river and would leave the south land under the escort of Zhao Yin without announcing it. The day came, and Liu Bei and his wife headed to the river. Suddenly, generals and soldiers sent by Zhou Yi arrived. Liu Bei was frightened. He rushed to the front of Lady Sun's carriage and appealed tearfully to her. When your elder brother and Zhao Yi and Zhou Yi conspired to call me to the Southland to marry you. They did not do so for your sake. All they wanted was to confine me so that they could retake Jingzhou and after that to kill me. But I came because I admire you. Today no one but you can serve me. If you are not willing, I prefer to die here before your eyes. Upon hearing this, Lady Sun rolled up the front curtain of her carriage and shouted to the generals from the state of Wu, Are you in revolt, Zhou Yi? The renegade, the traitor, she cried. What injury has the Sun family ever done you? Liu Bei is my husband. Both my mother and my brother were informed that I would return to Jingzhou. Does this blockage mean you you are going to plant our goods? She denounced Zhou Yi loudly and then ordered her carriage moved forward. The carriage had hardly advanced of five or six li when the second pair of commanders sent by Sun Quan arrived. Lady Sun let Liu Bei proceed. She herself and Zhao Yin held the rear. Lady Sun regarded the two commanders sternly and spoke reproachfully. You have come between my brother and me. My mother had sanctioned our trip back to Jingzhou. Even my brother has to conform to what which you enjoy. Do these weapons mean you want to murder me? The commanders stared at one another helplessly. So Liu Bei was nowhere to be seen. Zhao Yin was right there, ready for bloody combat, eyes angry and wide staring. At last, the generals had to withdraw. Later, when another two generals arrived with Sun Quan's sword, Liu Bei and Lady Sun were already on one of the boats led by Zhu Ge Liang, heading for Jingzhou. Later, the people said, trapped a second time in his own tricks. So he tested humiliation and did to rage.